Well, he could have said groaning woman. So. Gro <laughs> could, he could have said a groaning woman. And we are back. <laughs> this is a professional operation that we running up in church. That's what we running. And Dale Hemmen is in studio with me today. He is the director of It's Magic for the past 22 years. And I know that magic has always been a male-dominated industry mm -hmm. where the, the woman would be the assistant. Are there many women coming into the world of magic? Oh yes, in fact a few years ago at the Magic Castle in Hollywood um, I, I proposed that we produce a Women in Magic Week and for three years straight I produced it and I had everybody that was performing at all the showrooms were women mm -hmm. and it was great and it was a great hit but yes there are uh, Milt's niece Liberty Larson is an upcoming. Oh, I love magician. her name, yeah. Liberty Larson. Upcoming magician. There's uh, this. I worked with this uh, female performer, Jade, uh, who's originally from Chinese background. She was on a show last weekend I directed. Mm -hmm. Juliana Chen was just at the castle performing. She's a Chinese female magician, and there's there's more and more that are out there than there used to be, and they're all good. I mean, because they've had to work a little harder against a, what has been a male-dominated mm -hmm. segment. As so. always, we always have to be the right. best one. Do, we have to over-deliver. Now, when you talk about international magic internationally, mm -hmm. how is it different here than it is maybe in China or in Australia? <laughs> and is there a difference? Well, you know, there's nothing new in magic. All the techniques and the effects, there's only so many ways to do something. It's how you add your own cultural aspect to it. Mm -hmm. So. It's interesting because in China, many of the up-and-coming performers are what we call great manipulators. They do things with cards and coins and everything, mm -hmm. but they do it more in a Western-style structure in terms of their costuming and all of that. Mm -hmm. There are some that are very traditional, mm -hmm. Oriental, and all of that. And then um, in, in Australia and, and England, they tend to be... They do some serious stuff, but they do a lot of comedy type of magic in those places. Mm -hmm. And they play to the comedy aspects of their local country. So they don't, they don't take it as serious as America, as <laughs> they take it serious. I mean, we have some great comedy magicians here in America as well. Um, it's just a different approach mm -hmm. because different cultures. So. You know, I was talk, listening to one of the comedians who has been going around, um, and he's saying that he was concerned about what his act was going to be and how it was going to play in different countries and you know because he's pretty vulgar and you know mm -hmm. uses a lot of cuss words and he said well comedy is comedy no matter where you are is magic magic no matter where you are yes yeah. mm -hmm. and the interesting thing is you can go to foreign countries and and they love the magic that an, an American is performing and then they come over here and the Americans love the magic that they're performing because they're not exposed to that all the Exactly. Time. So it's a different thing. And that's the great thing about magic is that it transcends nationalities, it transcends politics, it transcends um, issues that are out there because when you're watching the show and magic, the world is a, a is a way and that's and we need so much we really need that not and I, we do need some escapism because it seems like the world has gotten so hateful and so bitter right. and so mean and and so un just unfriendly ungodly and when we can have stuff like magic to bring out the kid in us to right. allow us to see the wonderment that is still in the world mm -hmm. and the fact that we can all come together Tell people about the show that's coming up on the, the 29th. The show is on the 29th at the Wershia Bell Theater, and they could go to itsmagicshow.com to get the linkage to the tickets. Um, I will tell you it'll be a fun two-hour show with lots and lots of magic, different types of everything, lots of entertainment. And whether you're a five-year-old kid or you're a you know 105-year-old kid, you're going to have a great time at the show. And so. see, that's a, we really, we really, really need this. And I thank you guys so much for seeing the passion of it in it. And what do you want people to walk away from this year's magic show? To, to realize that they've seen some of the greatest magicians in the world, mm -hmm. uh, some that they may never see again. Uh, one act, certainly, they'll never see again. And two, to recognize that there is more to this world than than what we were just talking about, the hate and diversiveness, divisiveness and pettiness and name calling and all of that, that there's more to that. It's that a room, a, a, a bunch of people can get into a theater, laugh, clap, enjoy. And have a great... And they're sitting next to somebody that outside they might yell at, but inside that theater they've suspended that 
issues in their life. And now we can have fun. Exactly. Thank you so My much. Pleasure. It has been wonderful to have you Thank here. You. Thank you for the Magic Castle. Thank you for the Magic Show. It's magic. Get your tickets. You're in the L.A. area. Get your tickets now so you don't want to miss this show. This is Dale Hinman. Thank you so much. Thank you. May the universe continue to open up and conspire for your great success. And I Thank still you. love his jacket. <laughs>